what's up guys tuko na the biggest gospel artists hapa Kenya Jiman ukipenda unaweza muita Guardian Angel ako na mke wake hapa wanakaa vizuri kabisa amepiga pampa ya ni samawati ama ni gani <laughs> mkoaje safi nashukuru eh mafrai kwa na nyinyi wote you guys are, uh, are amazing god our bless amen tell us about uh, first of all tunaongea kuhusu majabu the album yake mashmwana tunao mmefika na pale youtube ukiingia kuna ngoma ina premier already as we speak yako featuring na tell us about uh, the project um, uh, the project uh, i did with mashmwana uh, yesu mambo yote uh, 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 he looked out for me uh, and explained to me he played to me a few songs that he had done on the album and what he wanted to achieve uh, uh, on the album Uh, uh, he's been very vocal about uh, the gospel, uh, uh, but despite everything that has been happening to the gospel, I'm a vocal kabisa, na uh, ako passionate about the things of God. So uh, uh, he called me and asked me to uh, do a song with him. He played the song; it was a good song. So I called him to studio. He came to my studio. We recorded the song, and I love the song. Okay, to kizungumzia your album tunao mekuja mpaka kum support na wife i mean why um uh, it's because uh, it, it is a gospel album and i'm a gospel musician sioni kama kuna reason nyingine uh, uh, ambayo inaweza kuwa zaidi ya hiyo kwa sababu mimi ni msanii wa gospel umesema mimi ni top gospel artist so anything that happens in the gospel it's just good that we are, we are there because we are gospel musicians yeah man because we say anything that happens in the gospel allow me to ask you this question about uh, the gospel of uh, the chairman of gospel rington apoko me oifanya ngoma na a few years ago juzi alisema alifunguka akasema ametoka gospel anaingia love songs ulipokea hiyo habari vipi um siwezi kusema nilipokea vizuri um because uh, the gospel you know as much as we say things from uh, you know different dimensions Uh, and for different reasons si sote tunajua rington anapenda mchezo kidogo saa zingine kwa hiyo si sote hatujui bado kwamba amesema hivyo kwa nini mpaka tuweze ku, uh, kuhakikisha ama afanye kitu after hiyo tuone kweli alikuwa ameamua anatoka ama atoki but uh, uh, sidhani kama ninaweza kuchukulia vizuri tena mmoja wetu mwingine tena aseme kwamba amewaacha gospel unajua kwa sababu wacheni niwaambie kitu kimoja uh, uh, gospel ama kukuwa msanii wa gospel unaweza kwazwa unajua unaweza kwazwa na binadamu wenzako ambao pia hao labda wako kwa injili lakini hiyo imaanishi kwamba Mungu amekukwaza unajua so the minute una una denounce gospel hiyo ni kitu yako personal na Mungu kama Mungu ndo alikuita umfanye kazi alafu kisha unakuwazo na binadamu unaacha kazi ya Mungu hiyo ina maanisha una get personal kwa God kwa sababu ya human beings so if it is a calling that, that, that God is the one who has called you then you you, are, you should be in a position to endure everything that happens to you alafu mrudie Mungu mwambie hii kazi uliniita basi niko nayo lakini ninaumia una understand kwa hiyo hakuna vile tunafaa ku kwa tuna tunalipishia Mungu kwa sababu ya kitu nimefanywa na binadamu understand so uh, mimi nataka tu tuseme uh, hypothetically umejiweka kwa position ya god kama mungu angekuwa naamua kwamba analipisha kwa sababu ya kila kitu inafanywa mbaya basi si sote tungekuwa chakufa na understand kwamba ati uh, 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 wewe umefanya makosa basi kufa unajua si sote tungekuwa chakufa kwa hiyo ina maanisha tu uh, na jaribu tu kusema kwamba wakati mwingine unaweza kukwazwa kama mimi nilikwazwa sana kwa gospel lakini hiyo sio reason ya kuacha ile calling ambayo Mungu amekuita ufanye. Yeah. Before tuzungumze na wife, eh, ningependa kuuliza swali. Wewe kama gospel ambassador and I'm, I'm expecting a yes or no answer. Do you think chairman ametoka gospel ama ni, ni, ni mbwembwe tu? I'm not sure about that. I can't answer for him. Uh, I can't answer for him because uh, honestly I don't know. Yeah. Sasa wako anaendeleaje? DJ Kes anaendelea poa ako kwa event sai ana, ana DJ she's a DJ also and a musician at the same time so she's an, in, in an event that's why she was not able to come here today but she's doing very eh kwa hiyo 
uh, kama hiyo ndio reason inaweza kumfanya mtu aache gospel at kwa sababu hakuna uh, kipato basi hakuna kipato hapo nje pia na understand yeah. kwa hiyo it's, it's a lame reason na understand it's a lame reason uh, and most of us would stop singing gospel kwa sababu probably tunafikiria tu kwamba hapo ndo pazuri kwa sababu pana ka green saa zingine nyasi na ka green mahali kumbe hapo ni siwe jimeme ajua siwe tunajua <laughs> na understand yeah. kwa hiyo kwa wakati mwingine tunaweza dania huko nje ndo kupo yeah. but the minute you get in there ndo una realize we kumbe mimi si understand dynamics za hapa because you know we're not stopping uh, to sing gospel to go into an industry that has no people eh yeah. hey, tunaenda kwa mahali ambayo tunaenda kwa miji ambayo kuna kuku ambao wanawika huko tayari yeah. kwa hiyo pia wewe kuweza kufika hapo ndio uweze kuika itabidi uume kidogo but the bottom line is god is the provider god is the owner of everything silver and gold yeah. kwa hivyo mimi siwezi kumwacha mungu ndio niende kupata a better life somewhere else i believe in god is where the best life is and now I, i want to just speak to all of you guys you know whether you believe uh, 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 in the things of god or in the musicians who sing the gospel or not you might not believe in what i do you might not believe in me but i want to ask you to believe in god because god is faithful god has a purpose for everyone that he creates god is not in a business of creating you akwache ukuje uteseke and the bible says that he has a good reason he has a plan for you you know to give you a future and to give you hope that is what he has for every one of us so for him to create you he has a future and hope for you so there's no way you would say that you don't believe in the hope and future that god has for you to go and get it elsewhere it is impossible And the same way I would say if you get a fish out of water today it will die. If you get a tree out of the soil it will die because that is where it is planted. It get that is the source of its life. So if you get yourself from the place where God planted you and because God is the one who created you with his reasons, if you get yourself from that place you will die my friend. And and and, and speaking as a prophet I'm telling you all of you guys will witness to it that if i can stand here to say that 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 i don't believe in god anymore because i feel elsewhere is the best place to go god is a jealous god and you will see him yeah. okay we will all see him tuko hapa bado bado tunaishi hizi camera ile tu kitu itafanyika hapa tuta tuta upgrade tu kwa better cameras otherwise tuko hapa hapa and these cameras will focus and you guys will see that truly god yuko yeah. understand God you can hear to your option. Amen. God is love guardian, okay? Yeah. So is it really bad for a gospel artist kuimba love songs? Depending on um, um uh, on the context, depending on also, you know, uh, 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 the way you you present it. You understand? We have so many gospel musicians who have done love songs. Na tujai sikia mtu akikashifu kwamba huyu ametoka. Unajua? Um, um, uh, ata nakumbuka kwa album ya Rose Mohando ya kwanza aliongelelea kwamba uh, uh, usimsengenye mume wako kwa watu wengine unajua umheshimu mpende mume wako you know we have had so many people uh, kuna uh, Bonnie Mwetege alisema mke mwema anatoka kwa Bwana you know it's a love song you understand na hakuna mtu amewahi kufika mahali akasema eh huyu ameanza secular you understand so it just depends on how you present your love you understand because we we go to uh, uh, to the church to wed and we kiss the bride is it wrong to kiss in church you understand so then it depends on uh, 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 the dimension and the perspective and, and and the way you present your love song anytime nikianza kuongelelea love alafu naongelelea vile unakaa huku nyuma nini hata ni ngumu kuimba kwa kanisa you understand but kuna vile naweza kusema kwamba unakaa uh, vizuri mungu amekuumba unajua uh, uh, fearfully and wonderfully made you understand the way i present it is what matters yeah just to give a message to our fans because ah, what our knowledge they are your fans mm. wambie why expect nini from you jamaa what says that that no eye and no ear has even heard what god is about to do even in this industry you have not seen if you are aligning yourself uh, uh, with other things because you feel that is where better content is let me tell you start preparing yourself you know because there's better content in the things of god we are getting to a place where it will only be the things of god or you don't exist that is where that's where we are going right now and so kama una unajifurahisha una kujiondoa na mambo ya mungu kwamba inakaa hiyo ndio inakuletea aibu ama hiyo ndio haiwezi kwa sahi 
uh, uh, ipo ndo inakaa kwa sahi. Lakini hapa mbele mahali tunaenda itakuwa ni either uko kwa mambo ya Mungu ama wewe hauko hata na maisha ya kuishi. Okay, thank you Guardian Esther. Watu hakuna gospel imeisha. Usidanganywe na mtu yote ako na kamera na microphone. <laughs> Kwamba gospel imeisha. Haiwezi kuisha. Gospel tuko na tuko sana. One of the biggest song right now is Yesu sio mwizi. Do you people know the song? Yes. yes, because it's the biggest gospel song. But but you can't pay attention to that because kwa akili yako gospel imeisha ndio content ina sell. My friend, my friend. Injili ya Bwana iko sana na sisi tuko sana. Na Yesu ametuprovide Ah tunasema uko na pesa tuko secular. Hii pesa tuko nayo sana na tunaibia tu Mungu. Unajua? Eh, it's clear that we have the money and we have it in serving God because we have understood that God is the provider. So usidanganywe kwamba hakuna kitu kwa gospel. Iko sana kuna maisha, kuna amani, kuna pesa, kuna raha, kuna upendo na kuna kila kitu kwa gospel ya Mungu. Amen. Na kuna kitu tamu tamu. Asante. Thank you. Thank you so much.